it was supposed to be her strongest primary challenge since taking office 20 years ago. But Nydia Velasquez won in a landslide and is likely headed to her 11th term in Washington. Clearly, the uh, constituents and voters sent a clear message that they are the one who decide who represents uh, their communities. The Congresswoman's strongest challenge came from City Councilman Eric Martin Delon, who was backed by the Brooklyn Democratic leader, Assemblyman Vito Lopez. Many saw the contest as less between Velazquez and Delon and more between the Congresswoman and Lopez. I am proud to stand here tonight as your Congresswoman and still say that I am on bus and on butt. She even had her victory party in territory typically thought of as Lopez's terrain, and her supporters turned out. She was out in the streets talking about her record. People knew about her record. For the first time in a redrawn district, the congresswoman will also represent the Satmar Jewish community in Williamsburg, a community divided into two factions. One is closely aligned with Lopez, the other took the side of Velazquez. Her side saw this as a defeat for the county's Democratic leader. He called himself as a tiger. And now we can tell you, we can say that he is a dead Tommy Tiger. So in the end, Congresswoman Nidia Velasquez sees this as more than just another term in Washington. She sees this as a victory over the Brooklyn Democratic Party. In Williamsburg, Courtney Gross, New York 1.